Welcome to Oaxaca City, the cultural and culinary capital of Mexico. It's a city where every day is a celebration, so we knew Oaxaca was going to be a feast for the senses. But prior to visiting, we really had no idea what was in store for us. I feel accomplished that we managed to get food. Oaxaca City and the surrounding valley encompass so much of what makes Mexico special, and we're excited to share it with you in this film. But first, we need to get there. We said goodbye to the low-lying plains of Veracruz and drove our tiny home towards the Oaxaca Valley. Welcome back. We are in the mountains of Oaxaca, driving on an incredibly windy and very beautiful mountain road. We are on our way to Oaxaca City in the Central Valley, and we are very excited to go check out the capital. After two long days of driving, we finally emerged from the mountains and descended down into the valley. Welcome to Oaxaca City. We picked up some coffee and now we're going to make our way to the meeting point for our walking tour. Oaxaca City is declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its blend of colonial architecture and rich Mesoamerican culture. We explored the Centro Historico on our two-hour free walking tour and learned all about Oaxaca's culture and history. We're all done our walking tour. Oaxaca City is beautiful and lively and very busy. We got some recommendations for lunch, so that's where we're heading next. We are headed to a market for lunch and we've heard there's a spot where you can pick out all your own food and they will barbecue it for you and make it into tacos. So that's where we're headed. Paseo de Carne Asado is a long hall filled with carne asado grills. What makes this experience unique is you purchase all the components of your meal from different vendors. It's like a big scavenger hunt, and by the end, you hopefully have a fully assembled meal. Alright, let's find the tortillas. We got the vegetable. I don't know where we get tortillas. <laughs> Ah, yeah. The guy with the cool shirt. I was walking around, I was like, where do we, which guy was it? I have almost no idea what's going on. Come to me, sir. I feel accomplished that we managed to get food. <laughs> so they've been trying to streamline this more for tourists. So apparently there's an instruction thing on the back of the menu that we didn't read and didn't know about. So that probably would have made it less confusing. This is by far the most memorable dining experience we've had during our 10 months in Mexico. And we soon learned the market was extra busy today because... So we made friends at dinner and explained that that is the governor of Oaxaca. That was happy chaos. <laughs> You can buy chocolate by the kilo. We just got drinking chocolate. It is milk with 100% cacao, and then they frappe it up, and it's just like a chocolate milkshake. It's delicious. Palendas, unique celebratory processions through the streets of Oaxaca with marching bands, dancers, paper mache puppets, and of course, mezcal. Everyone is invited to join in on the celebrations and participation is encouraged. It is very welcoming when you join a random parade, people give you shots. We spent the rest of our afternoon parading down the streets, feeling like we were part of the community. And we ran into not one, but three different calendas. Okay, here we go again. Gracias. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. 
Muchas gracias. So all of that was to celebrate the law school graduation from the university. It was so much fun. There's another one coming. I think we're going to avoid this one. afternoon has been an absolute whirlwind. We went to the market for lunch, just not knowing the governor of Oaxaca was going to be there, so it was chaos. And then we step outside, there's a massive brass band playing, and then there is huge celebrations for the graduations. It was so much fun. Very welcoming. Yeah. It is day two in Oaxaca City. Today we are going to be checking out some of the art district as well as trying more food and see more of the beautiful city. A lot of the murals we're seeing represent Day of the Dead and Oaxaca has one of the best Day of the Dead celebrations in all of Mexico. So it's really cool to see it represented in the street art. The art district is really pretty. There's also murals and cafes. Now we're gonna head back to the main central and see if we can find some more Oaxacan food. The markets are our favorite place to try traditional food. Following local recommendation, we went to La Abuelita's, a great spot to try one of Oaxaca's signature dishes, mole. We visited Mercado Diente de Noviembre, which means the 20th of November for lunch. It was very busy, very loud, a little bit chaotic, but that is all part of the experience. Unfortunately, a waiter knocked a glass of juice over on the table and it landed on Jake. So his white shorts are now hot pink. So we're gonna go get them cleaned. So at the market, we had a tamal oaxaqueño, which is like a Oaxacan version of a tamale. It is in banana leaves and had black mole on top. And inside was thicker black mole with chicken and it was delicious. Then we also ordered enmoladas with chicken and they came with black mole on one half and mole colorado or red mole on the other half. And it was also kind of chocolatey, a little spicy and it was delicious and really good. So this was our first time trying mole and it was a great experience. We picked up some nieves, which is Oaxaca style ice cream. These flavors here are milk based. These flavors here are water based. For the water based ones, we got mango with chili, guayabana, and this pink one here is tuna. And it's not tuna fish, it's actually the plant, the fruit that's on a cactus. Mmm, that one's really good. It actually kind of tastes like kiwi. And then this is Oaxacan chocolate, coffee with almond. This one is a cheese mixed with a fruit. I'm actually not sure what the fruit is. I'll put it on the screen. Mmm, kind of tastes like raspberry. So we're going to sit in the Zocalo and enjoy our nieves. So we're gonna give street camping a shot tonight. We are in a town called El Tuli, which is just outside of Oaxaca City. And it's a place that we wanted to visit because it is also home to the whitest tree in the world, which is what we're walking to go see right now. So this tree is over 2000 years old. Wow. In the center of town, the tree stands 35 meters tall and has a circumference of 42 meters. When we were road tripping through the States on our way down to Mexico, we stopped in to see the General Sherman, which is in Sequoia National Park and is the largest tree by volume. This tree here is the largest tree by base circumference. We are losing light, so we're gonna head back to the van and we'll see you in the morning.
Monte Alban is an archaeological site uh, built by the Zapotec people around 3,000 years ago. And they leveled the top of a mountain and built a um, residence and temples for the priests and the ruling class up here. And from Monte Alban, they dominated the entire Oaxacan Valley. This archaeological site is massive. We have been exploring for a couple hours now and uh, it's starting to rain. So we're gonna head back to the van and we will move on to our next spot. Oaxaca is the most culturally diverse state in Mexico with over 1 million indigenous language speakers in 16 different communities. Teotitlan del Valle is a Zapotec village where most residents make a living weaving beautiful textiles an ancient art form that's been passed down through generations for more than 2,000 years. Rosario and Ernesto are fourth generation weavers who kindly showed us the process behind making their beautiful handmade rugs. Wool is washed, combed, then spun, which is much more difficult than it looks. Muy difícil. <laughs> Then the wool is dyed naturally using flowers, plants, and even insects. If I smash it? Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Weavers originally made textiles with plant fibers and a backstrap loom, until the Spanish brought sheep and the petal loom to Mexico in the 16th century. The process of weaving is a time-consuming and labor-intensive craft, and it can take anywhere from two weeks to a month to make a single rug. So that was Ernesto and Rosario, and they are the fourth generation in their family, and their children also make textiles. So it's a five generation family that have been producing beautiful work. We picked up two little van size keepsakes that are coasters, but we're going to hang them up on the wall in the van somewhere. And uh, if anyone is interested in visiting their store, I'll put the information on the screen. I've got their card here, but they also have an online store so if you're not coming down here and you're interested in buying traditional zapotec textiles that are all handmade with natural dyes i will leave their information on the screen as well we had a really cool time visiting Teotihuacan de la Valle. The weaving and all the processes here and the Zapotec people who um, make the textiles are very talented. We do want to buy some souvenirs, but we are going to a large market tomorrow. So we'll go there and then maybe come back here afterwards. Good morning. We are in a town called Takalula, about half an hour away from Oaxaca. We are here for their Sunday market, which is one of the largest and oldest in Mesoamerica and we are very excited to see what we find. The Tlacolula Sunday Market is the most traditional market in Oaxaca. Its history dates back to pre-Hispanic times when traders and farmers from surrounding villages would come here to exchange their goods. This still holds true even today. So, this is maiz and cacao? Maiz, cacao, nuez, torta, cacao. Okay. This is tejate. This is a drink that's local to Oaxaca. It's delicious. Ooh, cacao. Um, oh. Ya tostado y pelado. It's good. It's good. Mm, that's different. <laughs> what did you just try? Crickets. I had like the two tiniest crickets I could possibly track. And you know what? They're actually not bad if you don't think about shooting. Lunch time. So we have an empanada. This one is a big tortilla cooked on a comal with a yellow mole and chicken. And it's really good. The freshly made tortillas are absolutely delicious. And then the mole itself reminds us of butter chicken. It's really good. We're back from the market. 
While we were there, we bought a couple of things for the van. One of them is this beautiful handmade Oaxacan blanket. It was made in the same town that we visited yesterday where we saw all of the weaving happening. So this was handmade, it's natural dyes, and it is beautiful. It's this nice orange color. And we also got some pillows. We were debating what kind of pillows to get, whether we get them to match the blanket we just bought, or if we just pick one each, and then we have lots of colors in the van. And that's what we chose. So Jake picked this blue pillow, and I got this yellow pillow. So we got lots of colorful things for the van. Oh, we got the all clear. We're allowed to park at Pimax tonight. We also made a brand new friend. His name is Chente. You want to take a photo with us? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to sleep here tonight. That's a photo? Yeah. Okay. Up okay. We're just making dinner, and Finley's food is under the couch. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. You can get some water. Let's fill your bag up. This is where we keep our Starlink, our propane, our food, and our toys. And all of our extra shoes. We have one last stop to make in the valley, Hierve el Agua. A petrified rock formation that looks like a waterfall, formed by flowing mineral-rich water that left behind deposits over thousands of years, similar to how stalactites form in caves. The whole area has interesting formations, but the two main attractions here are Cascada Chica and Cascada Grande. A three kilometer trail took us to the bottom of the waterfall where we could really appreciate how tall these rock formations are. This is a popular spot to watch sunset because of the incredible views out into the valley. But where Hierve el Agua really shined for us was sunrise the following morning, when we briefly had the whole place to ourselves. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We are heading through the mountains to the Oaxaca coast. We have a long day of driving and we are very excited. So we'll see you there. Bye. Thanks for watching. Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to join us next time on the Oaxaca coast.